Hey everyone, it's Mark Sargent, and this is another Flat Earth article. This one came kind of suddenly. Uh, I just uh, did it this morning with a guy from The Rooster magazine, and you can check it out at therooster.com. I'll try to make corrections as we go along, because he did take a few things out of context, but it is not a hit piece. It's actually not too bad. So let's just get right to it. Uh, it's called, Can These Flat Earthers Convince You the Planet Isn't Round? In every age, brave heroes challenge convention and alter the world for good. With his voyage, Columbus showed Europeans the planet is bigger than what they always knew. With his theory of evolution, Darwin taught everyone that we're connected to all living things. Ryan Beatty, 41, thinks he's on to an even bigger idea than that. And he's on a mission to spread it. Right now, he may just be a firewood delivery guy. And yes, his friends all laugh at him and call him crazy. But Beatty is rock solid in his belief. And he dreams of creating seminars good enough to convince his friends, then convince his town of Baton Rouge, and then convince the rest of the globe. Or not the entire globe, the entire disc, frisbee, dinner plate, whatever. See, Beatty is a flat earther. He's a has believed since July of 2015 that the world is not round. 99.999999% sure, he says. He is far from alone. We are all flat earthers, says his friend Carly Madrano. Most people just don't know it yet. Go ahead, giggle. Flat earthers are accustomed to ridicule. To most, flat earther is a synonym for stupid or willfully ignorant. It's the de facto internet insult. I'm sorry, de facto. Uh, President Obama even compared climate change deniers to flat earthers. They've fa faced it all. Madra I'm sorry, Madrano says people in real life will get downright aggressive. Amanda Lynn Grimes, a mom and a flat earther in Reno, Nevada, says she got in a fight with her mom over it. Megan Razor, Razor, a 37-year-old salesperson and a flat earther in Westminster, Maryland, gets laughed at by all her friends. But flat earthers are appearing more into the public consciousness. Rapper B.O.B. launched a Twitter rant about the Flat Earth a few months back before the great astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson smacked him down with a rap of his own. Then reality star Tila Tequila, before she started dressing like Hitler, demanding, demanded proof of an existing globe. It's gone mainstream. What's crazy is that Flat Earthers aren't a dwindling minority who have been living in caves or monasteries since before Galileo. They are computer literate, internet savvy, and adopting the Flat Earth view as adults. The half dozen Flat Earthers we contacted denied being trolls in it for the laughs. They aren't secretly scientists trying to make people think critically for themselves. They say the have never been they say they have never been diagnosed as mentally ill either. We asked them again and again, are you serious? Yes, of course, they all said. They are totally super serious, which just proves in the age of the internet, everyone has their own reality, even on something as basic as this. Mark Sargent, 48, one of the leaders of the Flat Earth Movement, says he gets drunk voicemails from angry people and teased by other podcasters all the time. Well, I didn't say all the time, but not that bad. But Sargent says being a Flat Earther isn't all bad, see what I mean? Uh, there's a lot of money to be made pushing the Flat Earth Movement. <laughs> yeah, not yet. He didn't even ask me how much money I made. And a lot of love to be found. That much is true. Sargent used to live in Boulder, Colorado. Also true and made his living as a video game tester. In the last two years since he started looking at the Flat Earth, he has made 80 weekly podcasts and 400 videos and gathered 27,000 YouTube subscribers. True. He quit his other job and makes a living off the ads. Revenue streams just appear out of nowhere. He says via Skype. I don't know about that. Behind him is a giant banner that reads, It's flat. He thinks the earth is like a snow globe with a flat bottom and a big dome over it, which God built and inside which are sun, moon, stars, everything like this. And he puts a link to the line of fire flat earth 3D model by Chris C. Pontius. Armed with this new 
picture of our reality, Sargent has built a new life. He moved from Boulder to Seattle to be in a bigger media market. <laughs> Not true. Uh, he's talked to producers about a reality show. That is true. Uh, he had a hand in two smartphone apps about Flat Earth. True. There are at least three others, which I don't know about. He's riding a wave. Sargent estimates that there are uh, there were 50,000 hits on YouTube for Flat Earth a year ago. Today, there are 10 million. Sargent is a nice guy and fun to talk to. All the Flat Earthers were pleasant, friendly, warm, and open. They told us about their lives, their families, their dreams. And while a few of them grew prickly, defensive, and elusive when we asked them to critically examine their beliefs, most answered our questions plainly as best they could, except, of course, when they couldn't. What's beyond the edge of the disk, we asked. No one knows, they answered, or God. What's on the underside of the disk, we asked. No one knows, or God. How come no one has ever gone out and taken a look? A few said the government won't let anyone. The government won't let anyone? That's right, the government, or the Freemasons, corporations, financers, Illuminati, lizard people, aliens, God, or the trillionaires who control the population. In Beatty's, Beatty? Ned Beatty? Yeah, Beatty's words. Uh, see, to flat earthers, the round earth isn't just a wrong belief. It's a giant conspiracy, deliberately tricking all of us. So no matter what evidence you show them for a round earth, they bat it away as propaganda made by them. All the videos from space are fake. All the astronauts have been paid off. All the en engineers sending robots to Mars and Plutos are liars. All airline pilots are in on it. Not true. No, I, I've never, ever said that. Uh, that Red Bull guy who parachuted from the stratosphere and got amazing footage of the round earth was paid off. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. Your uncle who flew on the Concorde at 50,000 feet and told you about the curve. He's a liar. <laughs> Dude, he's reaching. Uh, Christmas is going to be awkward this year. The media is in on it, of course. Also not true. Which makes our questions particularly irrelevant. Why this global conspiracy? The most consistent answer we heard was oil. Uh, I don't think I, I said oil. On the edges of the disk are huge fields of oil and other natural resources. They want to drill for oil out there without any of us snooping around. Actually, I said the exact opposite. I said nobody's going out there, but honestly, he wasn't listening at that point. Uh, what about before oil? Before that goes one theory. God was... <laughs> screwing with us flat earthers are nice but talking to them is exhausting they live in worlds full of very little trust god and governments are liars they didn't trust our own motives we might have just been out to mock them we might be one of them the flat earthers dwell in those corners of the internet where everything is a conspiracy everything is a lie 9 11 was an inside job money is fake the economy is rigged ufos are everywhere we the sheeple just don't buy these stories because they have dropped chemtrails from the sky or poisoned our water with fluoride or sent radio waves at us to control our minds only flat earthers stand alone the only sane ones so spreading their truth is almost a divine mission, especially for Mark Sargent. When he finally proves that we're not living in a kind of snow globe, Sargent says, it will show that this place was built, which means there was a creator. I'm not saying this is total proof of God, he says, but it's the closest thing we have. This knowledge, he believes, will usher in a new golden age. Truth will reign, and the truth will set you free. And Beatty will be a hero in his hometown, and Grimes will reconcile with her mom, and Razor will get the last laugh. So move over, Darwin. Step aside, Columbus. Look out, round earthers. You can't run from the truth, or rather, you could try, but the dome won't let you get very far. And that's the end of the article. Uh, just a little quick commentary, because I, you know, I did speak to the guy who wrote this article. Uh, he told me, and I should probably should have recorded the conversation, but, you know, I don't like recording things without asking people. Uh, he told me that, you know, he, he does absolutely believe in the, in the space program and NASA. And one of the highlights of his, of his life was apparently he got to meet Neil Armstrong. When he said, like, I, or he was in a room with him, I don't, I don't know, but it was a big, big thing for him. He absolutely believes in science, and he, and he offered. He goes, well, if you ever come to Boulder, you know, you know, maybe we'll take you up to University of Boulder and, and meet you with a science scientist and have you ask these questions, kind of like you know, like the scientist was going to school me. What he doesn't know is that scientists would avoid me at all costs because there's a lot of questions that scientists can't answer. Anyway, interesting article. Check it out when you get a chance, guys, and you know, I, more will follow. I almost guarantee it. Thanks.